Hello and welcome to this iNav quick tip. Now this is a very quick video to answer the question of one of my Patreons, a gentleman called Ted, but I've had it a few other times. So I think it's worthwhile doing a quick tip to explain it. Now, if you've not done any stuff with iNav, uh, go and watch the videos that I'm linking to here. I'll also put them in the description down below. I've done a number of iNav series. And if you follow along with those videos step by step and don't miss anything out, then everything will work. The danger with iNav is that if you skip a step, then you can get into big trouble. So this time, what we're looking at is why don't I have GPS modes in the modes tab? Now, let me just plug in a flight controller. This happens to be the Matek 765 uh, wing. The F765 wing is probably the most advanced wing flight controller I've got around at the moment. Just happens to be flashed with iNav 2.3. Uh, I'm in the middle of setting it up. Now, uh, the GPS at the moment is going to go red because the GPS isn't powered. And we see we've got a problem with the hardware health. But if I go into the modes tab and scroll down, you'll see here we are. We have nav return to home, nav waypoints, G. Uh, ground station control navigation uh, we've got all these kind of things in here now things like nav position hold and all the gps modes only appear if you have gps configured and that's what catches a lot of people out again if you're following along with my inav series hopefully you won't have missed that step now to set the gps up you need to set it up in two places the first place is in the actual ports themselves and you need to select one of the ports now i've got arbitrarily here but it's UART 3 is set for GPS now that tells I now that I should have a GPS attached now even though the GPS isn't working that's going to start the chain of events that allow me to have my GPS flight modes so I'll save and reboot that the next thing you have to do then to get your flight modes or working is now we've set the hardware up is then you have to go into the configuration tab scroll all the way down into here and here you have a gps where it says gps for navigation and telemetry you want to make sure that that is turned on again save and reboot once it's come back even if the gps hasn't configured up and isn't happy the fact that you have both a port set up for gps and you have it set in the configuration tab down here means that when you go into the modes tab you should find that you have things like nav position hold things like nav return to home these will all appear because that's set so hopefully that helps again if you're struggling with inav i heartily recommend go and check out my inav playlists uh, because those go through each of the steps step by step to make sure that you don't get caught out Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.